imagination to look for a door. A door that leads to a new environment. Let this door fully appear in your mind's eye. Notice its shape, size, and the material that it's made out of. Notice the style of the door handle. As you reach for the door handle, you open the door, step through and close it behind you. You begin to see yourself in a new environment outdoors. It's night time, but the landscape is illuminated by the bright silvery light of the full moon. There is no one else around. This is your space. The air is warm and still and filled with the sweet fragrance of night flowers in bloom. And in front of you lies a still pool of water. Reflected in it is the light of a thousand stars. Take a moment to notice all the tiny details in your environment. Allow it all to become more vivid and real. As you start to walk towards the pool of water and sit down at the water's edge, you notice the healing qualities of the clear pool of water and admire how it sparkles in the moonlight. You move your attention to your breath and observe the natural rhythm of your inhales and exhales. Notice the small pause in between your in-breath and your out-breath. As you breathe, you draw in the silvery light of the moon and the stars. Allow this light to fill your inner world. Let it swirl and move through your whole body, through bones and muscles and organs. Draw in more light with each and every breath.
as you fill yourself up with this luminous glow, you become aware of a bubble of energy all around you, your own energy body. Tune in to this subtle layer of the self and use your imagination to sense this energetic cocoon all around you. As you become aware of places in your energy body where unhealthy cords may be attached, see and feel these cords however they want to appear, there is no right or wrong. You may sense these cords as vines, branches, pipes or ropes. You may have a feeling to where the cords are connected to or you may not. It doesn't matter. Approach this practice with a gentle curiosity. Feel into these energetic attachments and notice whatever you notice. As these energetic attachments come into your body, you may sense them as hooks, arrows, plugs, anchors or any other connection types. Be non-judgmental with whatever you find as you gently explore these attachments. As you take a deep breath in and repeat to yourself, I reclaim my own energy. I release these cords and attachments. Begin to breathe a little deeper 
and fill yourself up with even more light. As you take a deep inhale, you exhale very slowly as the light begins to gently push out all of these attachments and you feel them release and disconnect from your energy body. You may feel sensations such as heat or cold or emotions may rise up. That's okay and normal. Just keep breathing deeply and allow all of these attachments to be removed from your energy body. You're doing so well. Now imagine that you can reach for one of the disconnected cords and hold it in your hands. As you dip it into the healing pool of water in front of you, you seal the connection. Then gently pull on the cord so that it stretches like a rubber band and let go as you send it back to where it came from. As you repeat, thank you, I release you. Repeat this process with all the remaining chords. Take your time and send them all back to where they came from. Really good, release any last chords now.
take a deep inhale and a full exhale as you begin to dip your toes in the pool of water and feel the warmth of it nourish your whole body as you slowly lower yourself in You feel so held and supported by the water. You lie on your back as you float effortlessly in the pool, admiring the blanket of stars and the bright full moon above you. Feel as this water fills in any gaps or holes in your energy body, filling them in with fresh new energy so that your energy body is round and clear and smooth. Soak in the warmth of these healing waters for one more minute as your mind becomes as still as the water. And then inhale deeply and exhale fully as you feel the shift in your body and mind and in this moment you make a commitment to be unapologetic with your boundaries to release and repel any situations and people who drain your energy. To protect your own precious energy. You are strong, beautiful and powerful exactly as you are. As you begin to swim out of the pool, you thank the healing waters for soothing your body and mind. As you let yourself dry in the warm air, bathed in the glow of the moonlight. You know that it's time to leave, so you start to look for the door that you came in through. As you let the door form in your environment, notice its shape, size and colour. As you slowly walk towards the door,
reach for the door handle, open it up, walk through and then close the door behind you. As you ever so slowly bring yourself back to the space that you are in right now. Feel the hardness of the ground beneath you. And the temperature of the air around your face. As you wiggle your fingers and toes. And maybe yawn or sigh or do whatever feels good for you in this moment, coming back to the space. And take as long as you need here. But if you feel ready, Blink open your eyes. And take it nice and slow today. Make sure you drink lots of water. One interesting thing that can happen after doing a cord cutting meditation is people can reach out from the past. So just be prepared for that to happen. Uh, and be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Deep healing work. Deep healing work. <coughs> Excuse me. Deep healing work is what just took place. Uh, 20 minute uh, cord cutting uh, guided uh, meditation. I thought I would share that with you all. Very, very, very intimate uh, time. For me and you, short timers. Uh, just wanted to share that with you because whether you meditate or not, I talk about meditating a lot on my on the, on this channel, and there's no other better way to explain it. <clears throat> excuse me, than to do it. Excuse me. To actually do it um, in front of you. Why not, right? That way you actually know if you've never meditated before or, or never really know exactly what meditation is or entails. Well, that's it right there. That's it. Um, I just went deep and that's what I do every single day day sometime the day gets away from me and then I'll do it in the evening but for the majority of the part of the time it's early morning when I first get up um to get my day started and to get centered and grounded and that is where healing work takes place it's also I call it shadow work um Deeply going within yourself to do what needs to be done. In this case, it was a cord cutting meditation. Um, which, if you find that a lot of people are always constantly taking up space in your head, rent free, basically which is taking too much time from you, which is also taking energy from you, um, then you can do the same thing. You just look it up on Google, or I mean on uh, YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, and you will see cord cutting meditations, releasing unhealthy attachments, and calling back your power and your energy. So, as you can see, it's got me relaxed <clears throat> and calm, trying to get me all choked up and, and messing with my throat here, but 
it doesn't work. It doesn't work when you stand in your power and take back your uh, energy that tries to get away from you. But um, what I want to say now is I think that's it. Totally think that's it. Um, I'm glad to share that with you. That was a spontaneous, inspired thing that just happened. I said, let me share this with my peeps, with my shard timers. I appreciate y'all. Uh, those of you who listened and stayed and watched and stayed till the end and maybe you participated, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know, okay? Um, go ahead and leave a message or a comment and I'm going to go ahead and get off here. <clears throat> Excuse me, after 27 minutes on the clock, Shar Timers, we're going deep. We're going to dive deep, okay? That's what we just did. And there's more to come. If you want more, more, more of that, let me know. Take care. Bye.